Hi, I'm Matt, and in this video tutorial, we'll be looking at enabling the Magento Capture Forms. So let's start off with the basics, which is Capture and what it stands for. Now, Capture stands for Completely Automated Public Turning Test to Tell Computers and Humans Apart. In other words, it can tell the difference between a human and a computer. Someone doing an automated test to maybe create registrations on your Magento website. Now, by enabling this on your Magento website, it will limit the amount of registration spam. And it's also built into Magento too. Now, in this video tutorial, we'll show you how to enable this for the Create a User page. But it's also worth noting that as of Magento version 1.9.1.0, this does not have a capture available for product reviews or on the contact form. Instead, see our other video tutorials over on understandinge.com. So with that said, let's go and do this. So I've come across to the Magento dashboard and we need to go into system and then down to configuration at the bottom. Then from the left hand side, we need the customers tab. So scroll down until you see customers on the left hand side. And then click on customer configuration. The last option is for capture. So expand out the last option and you want to enable the capture on the front end. The moment you choose this, then a collection of new options will appear to you. So if I scroll down, for this tutorial, we're going to show the capture message on the create user page. So I've selected that one. However, if you wanted to enable this for lots of pages, hold down the control key on your keyboard and select the ones which you wish to enable this for. Then, let me just scroll my screen down for you. You can set some other options in here. So you can also change some other settings here. So the display mode is after a number of attempts to log in. Or what I would personally suggest is always, because that means that the capture form will appear always on the pages above. Then you can set the timeout. So seven minutes is a good period of time. You can choose the number of symbols. So four to five is pretty good. You can also change the characters which are used in the capture. So you could also include other digits as well, as explained below. And a huge tip is leave case sensitive to no, because that will confuse people. So once you've been in made those changes, press save config in the top right hand corner. Excellent. Now, before we go and look at the front end of our Magento website, we've got to do something daft first, which is to clear out the caches. So let's go to system, down into cache management. And I say daft because it's very easy to forget to do this. So if you then click select all on the left hand side and then click submit on the right hand side. Now, while that's doing that, let me just go and bring our Magento website across. And this is the page which we had before. So if I now refresh this page, so at the moment we don't have a capture box, but when I reload, aha, can you see that we've now got the capture on our login section? And when we go to create an account, so let's click create account, is that we're also shown the capture box down at the bottom. So from myself, Matt, from understandinge.com, I hope you found this video tutorial helpful. Cheerios! So we hope you've been and found this video guide useful. And myself, Matt, and me, Dave, we believe that to use Magento, you don't need a degree in nerd. And that's what we've exactly what we've been and done. We've been and created you over 70 full HD video guides on how to use Magento, all in plain English. And if you'd like to know more about myself, Matt, or me, Dave, and more about what we're doing at Understanding E, why not visit us at understandinge.com forward slash now. And we'll see you there. And for myself, Matt. And me, Dave. We'll see you soon.